there's always a sense of joy with him. It's always, no matter, and I've worked on him on really silly stuff and some darker stuff too, but there's always a sense of, of joy to his directing. He, he wants everybody to feel part of it. He wants everyone to feel like they're partners in it. Um, he's so smart and he's, he's very well read and he, he's passionate. He cares deeply about all of the things that he's putting down on paper, all of the things he's saying. And, uh, but at the same time, he doesn't take himself too seriously. And I think that's reflected in his movies because ultimately he, t he lets the air out of things, even when they get very serious and sad or scary. He has a way of comedically letting the air out um, and giving the audience a, a breath before they can dive back into it. Um, I don't know. He's 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 got a very he's got a special mind. But in a weird way, Adam would approach. I feel like working on Anchorman and working on The Big Short and working on Vice, while separate movies and very different tonally, there was always that sense of intense creative energy that he invited everyone to participate in making this thing as, as good as it could be. Apparently he's a really good actor. Um, he's great. You know, I, on the big short, we never worked together. So I, I didn't see him until we were doing press for the movie and he's a delightful guy and very smart and funny and nice, but He's just, I'm, I'm not saying anything that anybody doesn't already know. He's so committed and um, so smart about the choices that he makes as an actor. And he doesn't, he doesn't, you never see him working too hard at it. He's just, um, he just, he just does his preparation and then he's there. Um, and he kind of makes it look easy. Amy did a, a small role in The Office way, way back, I think season one. And I've been a huge fan of her, of hers ever since then. She's, uh, she's never not good. She's always, she's more than good. She's always great. Sam Rockwell, I, I love him. Uh, I, I did a movie with him a couple of years ago. And again, we didn't have much to do um, on screen together, but I'm just a fan of all the different characters that he can play and, and how, again, how easily he just falls into these characters. And uh, there's, a, there's a real joy to him as a performer too. The hope is that somehow people can reflect on those times and somehow assimilate them into our world today and to, to make some connections and to be thoughtful about, you know, what, you know, these people represented to the world then and, uh, and how that relates to our lives today. Rob Rayner has directed some of the most famous films of the 20th century. One of those films is the mockumentary This Is Spinal Tap. Rayner and his team tried writing a script but gave up after just a few days. The entirety of the dialogue was improvised by everyone involved, so Rayner tried getting everyone credited as the writers of the film.